Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to show you how I edit my sermons for broadcast. So this is going to be my template, a uh, quick little setup. Um, let me zoom in, zoom out, make sure there's uh, anything that I don't like on here from previous sessions. Okay, so this is going to be my um, audio tracks where I import my sessions in uh, drag and drop, program one through four, that feed into program bus which uh, has some processing x noise i got a eq i got a deesser i got a rvox i got a rx spectral denoise i like that one that one's pretty good and then i got another uh eq notching some frequencies another deesser in the upper range of the frequencies and then uh, a mouthy click of course just to capture any of those annoying um lip smacks and then um i have a ascend from that sanctuary verb and this is just to help me blend in and it sounds uh, pretty close to what's in the room or what the room sounds like and then i got some pink noise which is just some low um i guess you could call it like broadcast noise um, it's mostly used for filler for a very dead or silent parts of the program, but I, I have it so low, um, you're not going to even hear it. And then I have R, RX monitor for uh, third party processing. And then everything feeds from the bus, program bus into pseudo master. And pseudo master has my mastering processing. So I would have the linear EQ, linear multiband compressor, uh, MB. One upwards downwards compression. I have the L2 limiter with dither. I have the waves WLM for uh, metering and of course uh, PAS analyzer just to see the overall spectrum. And everything feeds into the print track which is input monitored and I could either do uh, online or offline bounce into that track. And then the next one is for deliverables, which is uh, tape masters. I can import my intro and outro tags for deliverables. And below here is all of the video files. So I have one video file, a reference track, and uh, left and right, and uh, some additional left and right. So four audio tracks that was imported from Avid Interplay from the producer and editors. So I'll go ahead and... Uh, select all those bring those to the top of the session and then I can start organizing so I could bring up my first program reference track I usually just uh, just make it inactive but I want to see it up there for a reference um, mostly for sync so I'm gonna um, duplicate those tracks the left and right drag and drop check my automation lanes delete any previous automation Usually this happens when when it's imported, so. And then I can do it to uh, tracks three and four. Drag and drop, make those inactive. Get rid of the, any automation. And that's pretty much it. So after I get that done, um, the session's ready to go, and then we can move on to the next step.